Good evening everyone, I am Richa Sehra, Founder and Editor-in-Chief Responsible Hospitals and today I would like to welcome all of you on our Insta Live channel. So as you know that I always come up with a different topic and again I have come up with a different topic this time as well which is on fetal imaging. Yes, this is something which you would have a lot of problems and a lot of confusions to have in but we will resolve it one by one. So I would be having Dr. Deep Shikha with me. She is a senior consultant with Cloud9 Hospital and she'll be with us to resolve our all the issues and concerns. So I'll just add her up and we'll start the session soon. I hope I'm audible to everyone. In case you are facing any challenge, you can just ping me. Good evening, Dr. Tripshika. How are you doing? I'm good, Richa. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me here. I would like to thank you, Responsible Hospitals, Cloud9, and all of my viewers to attending for attending the today's session. Uh, this is a very, I want to say, Richa, that you have picked a very, very relevant topic. Uh, giving birth is something which is very, very inherent to all of us Indians. We need a baby. A family is not complete without a newborn. But uh, uh, sometimes, yeah, but sometimes during that journey, uh, we take care of the mother's antenatal care, antenatal nutrition. But we have, and especially the older ladies of the family, have a lot of questions about uh, the testing and why ultrasound is important. So we keep, it's very nice of you to do a, a inform, informed session and to educate all the people that why this is important, why we need to do various tests on the antenatal women for the betterment of the society. Absolutely, absolutely. I think it's my pleasure to have you here. And it's a beautiful topic, I think, because we keep on talking about the major problems which people are aware of, but there are some basic things which people actually forget or miss out, feel like that it's not very important. So I think yeah. it's for everyone to understand the importance of the subject. And in case, uh, you know, we can just make them understand with the right facts about it, why is it important? Yeah. And what is actually uh, needed from a you know parent's perspective or a doctor's perspective so yes. you know this is a journey beautiful journey it's not only important to meet the gynees it's very important to understand the internal yeah. part and maybe what all we can cure at the initial stage as well so yes. a lot of technology advanced things has have come up so i think it's it's something you know when you understand when you see it yourself you understand it better you know yes so i would uh, really like to thank you for that for being with us on the subject and just last let's start it quickly yeah sure sure so doctor uh, to start with uh, i would like to know what is the current status of the subject in the industry in our country what do you think people are you know aware on fetal imaging uh, i will say that uh, as you have said this is a journey the fetal imaging is also a journey. Ultrasound is the mainstay of the fetal imaging. And ultrasound has developed in somewhere in the 80s and 90s. So before that, there was no ultrasound. So our previous generation was never exposed to the ultrasound. Like our mothers, probably they never got an ultrasound done. So they are quite worried that why ultrasound is being done. That is there. So it is a journey to educate the families that yes, why it is needed. So it is very important. But yes, I will say we are in the kind of a middle pathway where we are continuing educating the, the masses that yes, it is very, very important. Ultrasound is like a third eye of the obstetrician. It is the only way with which we are able to see the baby when the baby is in mother's womb. So it is very important investigation. It gives you an idea that the baby which is developing in the womb, in the uterus, in the inside the mama's tummy is all right. There is no problem with the baby. We don't need to intervene. So ultrasound is a very, very important investigation. And we are slowly, slowly progressing towards the day where we will have ultrasound available for every woman, whether in the private sector or in the government sector. Secondly, uh, this is from the parents' perspective. Second part of the current status is, I will say, from the medical community perspective. 
initially we used to have fetal imaging as a part of radiology only uh the like uh, the uh, a radiologist who used to do mri ct fetal imaging etc all that but nowadays fetal imaging has come up as a super specialization branch which is a specific set of the gynecologist or the radiologist or sonologists are there who are specifically trained for the fetal imaging and these are the people you should be going because they are specifically trained to look for the things which another person might miss out but so i will say that yes that day is i will not say in the near future where we ha will have totally trained personnel and totally educated audience or totally educated people who want to go for ultrasound but that day will come sure i think you are absolutely right and uh, i'm sure uh, let's discuss step by step since you have already given the importance of the whole fetal why is it important i would low i would like to go a little myths about it so there are myths like you know when we get frequent ultrasounds done then there could be problem to the baby there could be a problem for for the mother what do you have to say about it ultrasound is a 100% safe investigation as i have said ultrasound was developed somewhere around 30 35 years back till date at least 50 60 or maybe 1 lakh studies have been done to see the effects of the ultrasound on the human body but to till date ultrasound have been found to be totally safe no matter how frequently we do it sometimes for the baby we have to do ultrasound morning and evening also even in the in those scenarios ultrasound is a totally safe investigation no one has to worry about the ill effect of the ultrasound other investigations like x ray or ct may be harmful for the human body but not ultrasound ultrasound is a totally safe investigation anyone can go for the ultrasound without any fear of any abnormal effect of the ultrasound sure sure and how frequently you all do it when there is a you know pregnancy stage how frequently it is required in the whole journey of pregnancy uh, yeah uh generally in uh, we in cloud9 we have a protocol of doing minimum 5 ultrasound for the pregnant ladies first ultrasound is done as soon as you know that you are pregnant it is done around 1 and 1/2 month of pregnancy this uh, ultrasound is done to know the location of the pregnancy that whether it is developing inside the uterus or outside the uterus this ultrasound done at the right time is very important because if the pregnancy is not growing inside the uterus it is growing outside the uterus which is also known as ectopic pregnancy or tubal pregnancy ki tube mein bachcha reh gaya that can be catastrophic for the mother the baby is definitely not going to survive either way but it can be catastrophic to the mother so this ultrasound is very important which is done around 1 and 1/2 month of pregnancy it will show us the location of the pregnancy the number of the pregnancies that whether we are having twins or triplets or anything like that or single pregnancy and the heartbeat of the pregnancy after that next ultrasound is done at the third month which is also known as or first trimester advanced screening in this third month scan we see the baby all the major organs have developed by now in the third month the basic structure of the heart the basic structure of the brain legs arms etc and also in this scan we see the thickness of the neck of the baby it has the neck thickness of the neck of the baby is directly proportional or directly related to many genetic syndromes like most of common of which is down syndrome so the thickness of the neck of the baby can alert us to the possibility of the baby having some genetic problem so this third month ultrasound is very important we are looking for the first time to the baby and see that yes everything is going well the next ultrasound is done at the fifth month around 19 weeks which again is a major test in which we see all the organs of the baby in detail the development of the heart the development of the brain again the development of the lungs stomach gall bladder liver etc all of these are studied very much in detail in this we see each and every part of the body even like eyes lens etc to see that yes baby is developing absolutely well 
after this another scan is done between 6th and 7th month to which is known as growth scan which in which we see for the growth of the baby and then the uh, fifth scan is done in between the 8th and 9th month again to check for the growth and the water level of the baby and also to see that whether the blood flow to the baby is absolutely right or not these are the five uh, ultrasound protocol which we have for any normal pregnancy apart from that if a patient has any kind of problem like she is having bleeding or the baby's growth is not optimal or any other problem then we might have to do more number of ultrasound but these yeah. five ultrasounds are the basic ultrasounds which have to be followed in every pregnancy understood and what kind of abnormalities which are seen very frequently in fetal it's very difficult to say that which kind of abnormalities are the most frequent because every pregnancy is unique in its own way so and for mother every uh, abnormality is Single a big abnormality like a, for them. Yeah, yes i agree so uh, so these uh, but as you say what are the most uh, abnormalities we see uh, most of the time we see a lot of heart defects in the babies a lot of time the baby's heart is not developing in the right way which it should and it is a major problem we do we do the fetal echo and we see the heart of the baby to see all the four chambers and inlet inflow jisse baby ko blood aayega jisse baby ko blood jayega puri body ko supply hoga wo sab theek se ban rahe hain ya nahi aur bahut sari cases mein we see a lot of heart diseases and if they are detected at the right time the parents have the various options they that they have to go some further testing or they have to access the best care ki paida hote hi they have to be in the tertiary center where the baby can be specially taken care of so these are heart defects are the most commonly seen defects so the best part is basically you can actually see that prior yeah you do not have to yes. prepare later once he comes out and goes through the direct yes. test when this is the right way to get to what thing and so you can just tell us what all more high technologies which have come up within this and what all can be detected what all can be actually checked out maybe that that can help people to understand more uh, if if we want to say that what all we can check we should start from the top of the body from in the brain we can see that the brain is forming well the bone which is uh, uh, like covering the brain the t- which is known as the skull this part this is forming or not if it is not formed then brain is going to be just floating and uh, baby mm-hmm. is not going to survive after birth when i remember when i was working in the government hospital long back where i did my residency we used to see so many ladies who used to come only at the time of delivery at the 9 month with baby's brain not there thank god with the more awareness coming up in past 15 years people are much more aware and nowadays we don't see such scenario thank god but yes that from the if we go from the top that is one thing the non development of the brain of the baby which we used to see a lot past 15 years but now it is not there the second abnormality is the baby's spine is not well formed there is problem in the okay. spine of the baby yeah there is some kind of uh, you can say sag or uh, there is bulging out of the nerves at the back of the baby these are the two main abnormalities of the brain and spine then coming down we can see that any arm or leg is not formed properly there is missing of the bone of the arm or leg which is also known as radial aplasia or the proximal femur deficiency these are the bones we check in the heart as i have said as i have said before we check for the inflow the chambers and the outflow so any kind of abnormality major kind of abnormality we can see in the heart like left hypoplastic heart ki left side of the heart is not formed or the right side of the heart is not formed or the connections of the various chambers is not formed then we can see that there is a the tummy of the baby is not well formed there is stomach atresia esophageal atresia or uh, then 
for the kidneys yes kidneys we can see that kidneys are well formed they are functioning properly or not these are the major abnormalities which are we are able to pick up in the ultrasound sure i've got a question uh, how is radian 4d ultrasound technology is helping in determining you know congen congenital uh, defects much better than earlier uh 3d 4d yeah a 3d 4d scan is help uh, at the journey of the, the ultrasound nowadays there is a lot of improvement in the quality of the ultrasound the quality of the people who are doing the scanning as well as the improvement in the machines so we have come up a long way now we are much able much clearly able to diagnose the congenital abnormalities at a much earlier stage now come the role of the 3d and 4d i will say that most of the time we are able to detect all the abnormalities at 2d scan only but 3d 4d scan is important because it helps us to show that abnormality to the uh, surgeon who is going to later operate on the baby and also to the parents like sometimes there is one very common abnormality cleft lip and palate in which the lip of the baby is not well formed there is some cut inside it if we show this up not it is one thing which is easily treatable after birth surgery is done and it is treatable but in, in by the 3d 4d scan we are able to show the baby yes this is how your baby is going to look after birth so it is not a shock for the parents after baby is born acha mera bachcha kaisa dikh raha hai so it helps yeah. to prepare them the role of the 3d 4d is mainly to prepare the parents and the doctor who is going to take care of the baby after birth that yes this is how it is looking and this is how you have to manage so rather than diagnosing i will say 3d 4d ultrasound helps in the management of the congenital sure. abnormalities sure but and one thing how, how uh, you... sorry please please go ahead Uh, sorry <laughs> yeah i want I uh, but the issue <laughs> more than uh, in the congenital anomalies i will say 3d 4d uh, ultrasound plays an important role in the normal pregnancy because in the normal pregnancy when you show a 3d or 4d image of the face of the baby to the parents they feel an instant connection okay this is my baby baby is looking like his father his or her father or dadi or something so they form a beautiful connection with the baby right in the uterus only so even in the normal pregnancy 3d 4d ultrasound is very important because it forms a connection or bridge between the especially the father and other members of the family who are not otherwise able to feel the baby absolutely absolutely i remember my time because i was so fond of it in the morning she said you know uh, i can't see the baby because baby is right now turned on the other side i said oh, i want to see the baby then i went through back i said i really want to see that the moment we saw it nose and all and we just captured that i said this is a moment you actually need to have it nobody yeah. should actually miss it yeah somebody has asked that can you explain more about the anomaly scan yeah anomaly scan is the one uh, mm -hmm. also known by different names like second trimester detailed screening yeah. or the level 2 scan which this scan is done in the fifth month or at around 18 to 19 weeks of the pregnancy this test is very important because in this test we see all the organs of the baby in great detail we see the brain the part actually we don't see the brain we see the various parts of the brain that whether they are well formed or not then we see the neck of the baby the lungs of the baby heart its various connection inflow outflow chambers the stomach of the baby liver urinary bladder kidneys all the bones of the baby femur tibia fibula so this is a great detailed scan an anomaly scan and nobody should miss out on the anomaly scan because this is the time when we see the baby in the great detail and determine that yes this baby is going to achieve its full potential so anomaly scan is very very important sure somebody is asking again when is the 3d scan done 3d scan is best done between 24 to 26 weeks between 6th and 7th month 
because between 6 and 7th month there is right amount of proportion of the size of the baby and the water level around the baby so that you are able to get beautiful pictures of the baby before that before 6 month the uh, parts or the face of the baby or the various structures are not well formed so you will not enjoy that much and after 7th month the proportion of the baby is quite big as compared to the rest of the structure rest of the water level so sometimes after 7th month we are not able to acquire good pictures of the baby so if you want to go for the 3d 4d and everyone should it the best time is 6 to 7th month sure so my last question from the session is how do you manage you know ultrasound because it require direct touch and all uh in the pandemic situation like covid and all because lot of people would want to avoid them they will ask keep asking bothering doctors can we skip this ultrasound can we get this ultrasound in one go i'm sure those things are faced by the doctors and they are little scared ki if we'll go you they would want to go to a place where less interaction has happened so what do you think about it how cloud nine is managing the situation in pandemic for doctors first of all i would say that uh, the five ultrasound which i have explained in the session earlier nobody should skip those five ultrasound because those five ultrasound are very important to see that baby is growing absolutely when and we don't have to intervene so nobody should be missing the ultrasound unless their uh, doctor specifically say ki theek hai mat aao which i don't think any doctor is going to so they should not be uh, missing the ultrasounds because they are actually very important as i said they are our third eye to management so we are managing in the in the cloud nine we are allowing only patient to enter the premises husbands are not allowed inside the premises as i said to decrease the rush then when the patient come and we also encourage them to take the appointment and come exactly on the just or maybe 5 minutes before their time so that there is not too much rush inside the premises then for every patient we you we change the sheet before every patient and we do the sanitization of the machine and the uh, probes also as for us we uh, wear gloves so that there is no direct touch and also there is a plastic screen between the patient and the doctor so that even doctor and the patient doesn't have direct face to face interaction these are the various things we are uh, taking care and also just after the ultrasound patient has the option to just walk out of the premises and we can send the report on the app or on the email so the patient doesn't even have to wait for the ultrasound report so these are the various precautions we are taking here in our in our cloud nine hospital so that none of our patient contracts the covid at least from the hospital and everyone is safe so any any advice you would want to give it to the women these days who are expecting any any message you would want to give to them uh i can see uh, if we are talking about the covid scenario then the only advice is stay home and be safe and don't stress out the covid is relatively not affecting the pregnant ladies though in the second wave we has seen some effect of the covid on the pregnant ladies but grossly it is not touching the pregnant women so don't be so much stressed out stress increases the blood pressure of the pregnant ladies and that can be catastrophic so please stay at home relax and stay safe that is the only main message sure thank you so much doctor for being with us somebody has asked the question now uh which scan is the most important in terms of fetal issues uh if uh, for the fetal issues i will say not one there are two scans which are most important first is at the third month and second is at the fifth month because these are the two scans which tell us that baby's organs are developing well if there is any problem with the development of the baby and uh, then if these are the two scans which are going to detect those issues and maybe help to take the action at the right time so the most important scans are third and fifth month 
Sure, sure. I hope it has answered the question. Thank you so much, doctor, for being with us. It was really pleasure meeting you for the first time, and I I hope things go really well. We all come out of the pandemic soon, and uh, yeah. let's get into the real shape. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, thank you for inviting me, Richa. Thank you. Thanks. Bye bye.